those were long days in the hot sun. And because of it, many a farm boy left for the city. Then came the hay baler, backbreaking work for a whole crew of men. Baling may have made the job faster, but it didn't make it easier. Expensive, too. Baling keeps a couple of tractors busy, and those heavy bales have to be handled several times before they are fit. Stacking became the way to beat the high cost of hay. Tedious work for the man on the sweet break. Dangerous work for the men on the stack. Back and forth. Sweeping and stacking for hours on end. And still you don't get all the hay. By this method, it's difficult to get a tight, weather-resistant stack. But stack-cured hay is hard to beat. Seems like mowing and wind-growing hay has reached a fair degree of mechanization. There must be a way to cut out the hard labor and high costs in storing and feeding. There is a way, the McKee Stack and Mover. Here is the ultimate in economical haying systems. The high capacity McKee Harvester eats up those windrows and shreds the hay into soft and palatable feed and blows it back into the trailing stack former, building as tight a stack as you will ever see. I'm Harry Kenobi from West Point, Nebraska, and we put up a, a lot of alfalfa hay every year. We put up about uh, 250 acres a year, and uh, usually put it up all as haylage. Uh, the hay we're hauling in now again is uh, hay that was put up with the McKee stack and mover. It's testing 12 to 13 percent moisture and weighing about 10 ton to the stack. Unloading a McKee stack is a cinch. Open the rear doors, tilt the stack former hydraulically, engage the powered bed, and deposit the neat, weather-tight stack, packed full of protein, ready for your livestock to eat. The leaves of the hay are well blended in the shredded stack. In five minutes, you're off to the field for another load. The McKee stack and mover is the result of many years' experience in building hay harvesting equipment. The McKee Harvester, the McKee Stack Mover, combined with the Stack Former, are the three major components of the McKee Stack and Mover system. A rugged overriding clutch is built right into the main drive sheave to protect the harvester and tractor reducing drive line vibration to a minimum. The manual or optional hydraulic control on the stacker hood and delivery pipe evenly distributes the hay throughout the stack former, building a solid weather resistant stack. The optional tandem axle on the McKee stack mover provides extra flotation and carries the heaviest loads in spongy or sandy soil. The McKee Harvester is a high capacity loading machine. The straight through design from the windrow pickup to the shredder fan is unobstructed. The high velocity of the fan packs the shredded hay into a tight stack without the use of hydraulic or mechanical packing devices.
I'm Don Whitfield from West Point, Nebraska. I do custom work, and I bought a McKee stack and mover this spring. The other day, I was operating my McKee stack and mover. Along at the same time, we had the leading competitor out there, and at the end of the day, or finish of the field, I should say, I ended up with nine stacks, and my competitor had 18. Now, with the McKee, why, we have much better looking stacks. They have a lot more tonnage. My nine stacks would have more tonnage than his 18 by far. A close look at a stack made with another hay stacking system compared with the McKee system clearly demonstrates the packing power of the McKee harvester. The way this McKee gets the hay in there, this blower runs at such a force that it just packs it in there and of course it, it shreds your hay. The drier the hay, the more it will shred it, and the more tonnage you will get in there. And also, as you're finishing your stack, if the way it shreds it, it will just put a cap on there that it won't rain in. McKee shredded hay can be handled by grapple fork, and most mixer wagons can take it without further grinding. It's ready for your cattle to eat. There's no need to invest in a separate stack mover to sit idle most of the year. A simple operation removes your stack former and your stack former becomes a stack mover. Well, one of the things that uh, you got the, the two machines in one and that's something that I really need. Now in the winter I can use the mover and things aren't just going to be sitting there. I can make use of them. Retrieve stacks quickly. Just tilt the hydraulically driven mover back up to the stack, engage the seven chain live bed, and gently load the stack. There's hardly a wisp of hay left on the ground compared to the high percentage of hay left by some competitive systems. The wind has little effect on the solid McKee stacks, while with lightly packed stacks of some other systems, valuable feed may be wasted. The McKee stack and mover will retrieve and transport most any kind of stack. I'm Jim Salzman in Pearl, Nebraska, and I've been running a McKee stack and mover for some time now. The thing I like about the McKee stack mover is being able, able to put your hay crop up by yourself. You can put up large acreages of hay and never have to really work hard at it.
easiest way to put up hay and keep the boys happy down on the farm. The McKee Stack and Mover, thoughtfully and professionally engineered by McKee Brothers Limited, manufactures of quality haying equipment for more than 20 years. A most important piece of machinery for the cost-conscious cattle farmer.